Welcome back to another Foxy Games UK News video and oh boy, I wasn't even going to make a video today, but some news came up that I think needs to be relayed today. Courtesy of InsiderGaming.com. Links can be found in this video's description. So yeah, Microsoft was serious when it said it was going multi-platform. It did it in a tiptoe approach meaning it didn't want to alert its existing fan base and anyone thinking there's going to be some kind of descent in the console ecosystem in terms of timed or full exclusives have what have you with xbox uh, particularly first party xbox but it looks like microsoft are going to use gamescom or the build up lead up to gamescom to reveal some playstation 5 games that they're going to release from their first party staple so heading over to insidergaming.com with the headline that reads next Xbox game coming to PlayStation next week it has been claimed. Another Xbox console exclusive appears to be set to come to PlayStation soon according to multiple claims keyword multiple not one or two people but multiple the next Xbox game will be announced for PlayStation 5 next week first in response to a question on reset era about when the next ports to PlayStation would be coming Shinobi replied and Shinobi is a online personality works in the game industry Shinobi replied what are you doing next week he then followed up another question about multiple games coming with a quote i don't know about multiple games but a big one at least after that surfaced ecstasis posted a simple tease of a gif that said feliz cinco de mayo based on that tease alone it could be assumed that the game being announced will be forza Horizon 5. For what it's worth, Insider Gaming has heard similar of Forza Horizon 5 coming to PlayStation. However, they haven't been able to confirm when that could happen. If an announcement is to come next week, it could be during Gamescom opening night live on August 20, which could lead to a number of games being announced for PlayStation 5 or PlayStation 4. I mean, Forza Horizon 5 was able to run on Xbox One, and it, that's quite a demanding game for the Xbox. So no reason why it shouldn't be on PS4 if that is the game that is in question here. However, we will find out either leading up to Gamescom opening night with Jeff Keighley as Gamescom opening night live on August 20 or during the Microsoft event itself as Microsoft is going to be at Gamescom. Interesting stuff. What do you think of Forza Horizon 5 possibly being one of the next Xbox console exclusive games to come to PlayStation 5? Sound off in the comments. Though it could be any one, two or three of a number of games that Xbox has in its first party slate. Not necessarily Forza Horizon 5. It could indeed be Flight Simulator as you can see here. It could be, as I said, Starfield. It could be a bunch of games. But uh, it isn't just insider gaming reporting on this. All of the Mainstream media sites have picked this up, so it's a pretty big deal at the moment. GamingBolt.com, a big Xbox game. Again, possibly Forza Horizon 5 will be announced for PlayStation next week. Microsoft rollout of first-party titles on rival platforms could continue soon with a major announcement in the coming days, it's claimed. However, I wouldn't use the word rival platforms anymore. You don't release games on a rival platform. PlayStation is seemingly, along with Nintendo Switch, seemingly part of the xbox ecosystem now the only thing that's missing is game pass and the front end you know the uh, achievement points and everything else but uh yeah the first batch of microsoft first party xbox titles released for these uh, quote unquote rival platforms earlier this year were grounded and pentiment which came to playstation and switch and hi-fi rush and sea of thieves just to uh, playstation it was a successful experiment for the company and it really took a lot of the um, number one selling games on PlayStation Store. I think Xbox were in the top five, knocking a whole bunch of, uh, you know, PlayStation games out. So, yeah, clearly there's an appetite. There's a demand for these games. As I say, it was a successful experiment for the company and CEO Satya Nadella made it clear not long afterward that uh, most 
or more third party titles rather would be following suit now it seems like another one of those is going to be announced soon as i say industry insider shinobi 602 recently took to recent era teasing teasing about games and it's particularly a uh, uh spanish translation which a lot of people are tying to forza horizon 5 as mentioned earlier in this video as of course forza horizon 5 is set in mexico look we've got gamescom set for next week microsoft are there in a big way even uh phil spencer and sarah bond posted a tweet on x some time ago with uh gamescom we're going to be at gamescom and they had a blue uh, heart error uh, a green heart and a red heart all lined up next to each other meaning that they're multi-platform or suggesting that they got love for other platforms so it wouldn't surprise me i don't think indiana jones and uh, you know I, it could be gears of war 5 could be the stunning hellblade 2 senua sacrifice i mean the original came out on uh, ps4 so why not and apparently it didn't do too well on the xbox in terms of engagement although it's a beautiful unreal engine 5 game that would be the perfect fit for the playstation ecosystem halo infinite though i think would be a good idea i uh, mean forget master chief being synonymous with xbox he's not a system seller anymore the chief just doesn't move consoles in the way that uh he used to and that's not uh, the game's fault that's the uh, 343 industries i suppose because when bungie was at the helm this was a system seller but now it appears that uh, halo is just another xbox game unfortunately because i got a lot of love for the halo series however if it is halo infinite that would do wonders for the xbox community because a lot of people complain even though it's on game pass and free to play as part of your entitlement a lot of people complain that uh, they can't find any players or they have to wait a long time to get into games and matches especially matches that they specific matches that they uh, wish to play so if 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 this game is ported to playstation 5 or 4 or both of them that's going to increase the player count uh, significantly so there you have it if there is indeed an announcement happening next week it's likely that we'll hear about it pre-games come open in night live like a day before because they probably don't want to have playstation stealing the stage because technically a lot of people still see playstation as a rival to xbox or on opening night they'll just announce this game's coming to switch this game's coming to playstation platforms also reports have claimed that microsoft intends to bring most of its major titles to rival platforms with the likes of indiana jones and the great circle but i don't think that's on the roster just yet then you got Starfield, you got Gears of War, Halo, and many others allegedly being considered for multi platform releases. Interesting stuff. Interesting stuff indeed. Sound off in the comment what Xbox game, first party game, would you like to see on the PlayStation consoles? Um, this is not rubbing salt in the wounds. Um, at the end of the day, Phil Spencer himself said it. When, we, when everyone plays, we all win. And he certainly took that to the bank, didn't he? He certainly meant that. Because it looks like a lot of more players are going to be playing Xbox games. And it benefits Xbox. That's more sales. They're not going to put them on PlayStation Plus as part of the monthly, you know, lineup. This is going to be likely a $50 to $60 game that you're going to have to pay for. So that money, where does it go? To Microsoft. Yeah, Sony gets a little cut, but it goes to Microsoft essentially. So yeah, we've heard that uh, multiple rumors, just to summarize, multiple rumors of first party Xbox games being announced at uh, Gamescom 2024. The big game tipped is Forza Horizon 5, though that's just rumor. Games coming to PlayStation 5, possibly PS4. And just like Phil Spencer said, everyone wins when we all play. Hashtag ask Phil there you have it but i'll just say one thing before we go i think it's great that games get a second win on these you know monthly subscription service entitlements what have you but the hilariousness of some of these so-called gamers who loudly claim to support the games industry to support this medium that we allegedly supposedly all love they begin overhyping titles that released yeah, yeah, a few years ago like 2019 2020 games that didn't get their support 
they didn't purchase or buy these games when they released because they're on game pass or playstation plus they are now loving the how out of them because they are quote unquote free as part of the subscription entitlement this is shameful it gives you the impression there are some that really don't care if a studio that makes good games but doesn't make money closes and has to shudder so long as that game is added to their favorite monthly subscription service entitlements they don't care about the studio also time splitters time splitters 2 time splitters future perfect playstation 2 classics being deployed onto playstation plus for premium members yes these are not drip fed they're all coming day one if you like this sort of thing like subscribe hit notification that brings us to the end of the video until the next one play games not corporations